Well, championship season is upon us here from none last fall to all systems go now in 2021. Nick Krupke here to guide you through some of the big matchups during week 10 of a high school football season, which will end in four weeks, large classifications, three weeks for everybody else. Unbeaten Central Catholic collected the four seed as Lake as we go. Westland, 12th and go one, two, three. Oregon City, the tall task at hand. It's the last at-large berth to make the postseason. Football, of course, it's a brutal sport. All here would be okay. Timmy Mitchell levels the hit. That's clean. That's also a bruise. Rams then got the ball to start scoring here. Crew Newman tucks it and scores it from four yards away. Rams out in front and it would remain that way. Still first quarter, CCHS, more on offense. Newman, Ellis Bynum, playoff mode, activated. Blow a kiss to my guy, Kevin Lund. Love you too. Seven yards, seven more points, 14 nothing. Pioneers pushed their way back inside the five. Fumble, recovery. Looked like Gavin Jackson got on it to score a touchdown. They ruled him down at the one. No problem. Next snap, no debate. Newman, crew can do that. 21 nothing. Second quarter now, air Newman. Blake Anderson, 26 yards, 49 nothing. The Rams, 11 0, last drop in a first round game 13 years ago. Air 12 hovering above one of the greatest settings in the state, home of the Olympians. Number 13, Sprague. Number 20, Mountainside after a third place finish in the Metro League. Third quarter, 7-7. Seven seven. The Mavs knocking on the patio door behind Bowen Stinson, the running back, the senior, one of those building blocks for John Mannion, who moved on from Silverton to lead that new program along Shoals Ferry. And then the kid says, let him in. Brian Mannion to Stinson, the contested catch. No point after. 13-7 Mountainside into the fourth quarter. Now the OSAA scoreboard has crashed tonight. We heard though that was the final, so bring on the Rams for week two. Getting in the playoffs is great, proving you should have been ranked higher, even better. 14th seeded Westview seems ready to prove a point, visiting Barlow, a 19 spot. They saw that in Rock Creek. Tight game in the second quarter, 28-20 home team. The fish who keeps on swimming is the first chill upstream. Jordan Fisher. The single game rushing record for Westview already in hand. The junior also surpassing himself in the school records and the ground yards in a season. 1,467, 35 20 and a half. Third quarter, Barlow on the board. Another kid, another McDonald kid, Hunter McDonald. 14 yard touchdown made at 35 26. The Wildcats would tug of war the points right back. There goes that man again. Fisher from the two. They all equal the same. Fisher went for a PR in school best, 296 yards rushing. And then in that third quarter, Sam Levitt, Darius Clemens, one of the most lethal combos around, mark it down, 43 yards. Big Clem down to Oregon, Penn State, Auburn for his college destination. The 9-1 Wildcats now destined to see third seeded Tualatin as the Timberwolves handled Mountain View on this night. Fox 12 and Lake Oswego. Lake Reds dropped the Battle of the Lake a week prior to top seeded LO, but the Pacers darn good. Their three defeats came in league to the top three seeds, earning a 10th seed to host PIL co-champion Grant, number 23. Think the Generals has something to prove? Malachi Gray, sophomore sensation. From there, Donald Stevens from the one to get in. And the quarterback, Gallon Dedman. Fastball to Gray, 42-yard touchdown. Grant had a 14-0 halftime edge. Let's go third quarter. The Pacers arrive, the youngest of the Reichel brothers. Not a hooper, but a baller. The mullet lets it go. Jake Reichel was 14-7. Then the law firm of Oliver and Olsen, Ryan Oliver, Joey Olsen, 40-yard score. They're tied at 14. Six minutes to go in the third quarter. Six minutes later, Reichel, more business in the front, all party in the back. 10-yard touchdown for the lead, 21-14. Let's go fourth quarter. Hang on time. Extended a little too. Oliver, Baylor, Corbin, and check the block by Nui Tovey. Sealing up that comeback, 28-14. Lakeridge survives, advances. Gotta love playoff football. Came out really flat, but we picked it up in the second half because we knew we could do it. One game at a time now. We got we to gotta go back, get ready for the next game, prepare hard, and just be ready to go. We can't come out flat again or else it won't turn out this way. Nice side block by Oliver. Number seven, Sheldon. Next for Lakeridge is the Irish defeated co-PIL champ Roosevelt.